train that goes to Safari Park. On the right is the zoo portion of my name. That's where you can walk around. See the animals close up, okay? 40 acres of land, see a thousand animals, 25 animals per acre. But on the left is the park portion of our name, and I already see giraffes hanging out with each other. You see the giraffes? And then, oh, oh, who's running across the road up on the hill? Those are Kenyan Impala. Looks like a baby following. No, no, those are not Impala. Those are Nile Ledgeway. The Impala are to the right of the road that goes up the hill. They're brown and tan. Oh my gosh. And then if you look behind you on the left, you got grayish animals. Those are common wildebeest or white bearded no. And then in front on the left, you got big tan antle with long horns. Those are fringed oryxes. And on the right, my horn was conscious. It is not laziness, it's conservation of energy. On the left, yes, at the base of the hill, underneath a bright green tree, you have some more antle. They're doing the same thing the cheetahs are doing. They are resting, saving their energy. And it is from South Africa. Look at pelicans right here, right at the fence line. There must be fish along the fence line. That's why the pelicans are Back here, pelicans. we're on the safari part. So I'm just going to stop oh, talking. Oh, dark green, green, green like okay. plants on the left. They're called the heat brush, and they too are from South Africa. Not only do animals rest, but they also eat and they drink. Look on the left. The shaggy brown animal looks like mud at the edge of the water. It was drinking. That's an ellipsid water bucket. They're lavender antelope. They look like the sand. They're drinking too. And that's called a South African orange or South African chumsbok. And the chumsbok and the ellipsid water buck all live in the water. I was going to ask you to count how many flamingos you see, but guess what? They all blend in with each other. And there are 161 African greater flamingos in that group. This is the largest fla uh, no, flamboyance, largest flamboyance of African greater flamingos outside of Africa. And we've had over 170 babies in 46 years. Gravy zebra, they have black and white stripes. I have a question for you. Underneath a black and white striped fur, what is the color of a zebra skin? Is it A, black and white, B, black, C, white, D, pink? If you say black and white, raise your hand. Black, raise your hand. White, raise your hand. Pink, raise your hand. Don't know the answer, raise your hand. Well, the correct answer is black. It's 1969. Every baby cheetah born in captivity is a blow against extinction for that species. Okay, left and right, look at the green East African black rhino, and she is solitary. She is not social. Not everybody say flamingo. Flamingo, six pounds. Okay? Lembe, 2,400 pounds. Flamingo, open marsh, salt marsh. Lembe, scrub forest. If you live in the forest, your visibility is cut down to yellow. It is not a tree though. It is an entire animal plant. And it is from South Africa. Look at pelicans right here, right at the fence line. There must be fish along the fence line. That's why the pelicans are over here, because pelicans do fish. Look at the gray antelope on the left. Those are common wildebeest or white bearded new, gray, very nice neutral color. Look at the chocolate brown antelope on the left. South African sable antelope, cho chocolate brown, not a nice neutral color. Look how the sable antelope are not hiding. Look at them, they all have horns. Look at them standing out. They are daring the lions to come and get them. Yeah, we're right out here in the open. I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, you're going to leave us alone if you know what's good for you. Kind of color, okay? Look in front on the left, there's Chuck, a southern white rhino, behind a tree. Now, Chuck is 46 years old. And remember, like I said, they live 40 years old. Wait a minute, you mentioned plants from South Africa, you mentioned animals from South Africa? Well, guess what? This 60 acres on the left is our South African exhibit. See this? Those are East African crowd cranes. That yellow crown is called a panache. Okay, now, second question for you, the panache, is it made of hair or feathers? If you say hair, raise your hand. Feathers, raise your hand. Birds do not have hair. The lions do come and get them. Yeah, we're right out here in the open, I'm not afraid of you. Yeah, you're gonna leave us alone if you know what's good for you. Find a color, okay? Look in front, on the left, there's Chuck, a southern white rhino, behind a tree, now. Chuck is 46 years old. And remember, like I said, they live 40 years in the wild. Chuck got here when he was 20. We put him with female southern rhino rhinos, because he's a male southern rhino. rhino. And Chuck sired babies, eight babies, until he was 32. 
and then after that none, no more, no more. Until he was 42, so when he was 42 years old, we said to Chuck, when it's winter time, they're right out in the open, they're not hiding, right now they're hiding from the heat. They're not crazy about the heat, but they'll deal with it. But when it's winter time, they're right out and they're very visible. And they average 1,500 pounds. Do not mess with a cave buffalo. They wear all black. It's a threat color, a danger color. They will trample you. They will charge at you if you mess with them. Which means we're not going to do this. Lots of things working with each other to save these animals, to save these plants. This is a global effort. San Diego to global How many of you can touch your nose with your tongue? Raise your hand if you can do that. How many of you can clean your nose with your tongue? Raise your hand. Thank you for not raising your hand on that one. A giraffe tongue can be 18 inches long. That's one and a half feet long, folks. That's a female. I think she was getting her hat. That's why we put her inside. I'm not sure. I will tell you right now, we do not have baby oxygen. We've never had a baby oxygen. Why not? Because we don't want baby oxygen. Look at the beautiful African forest on the right. Yeah. The problem is animals that live in the forest are going to hide in the forest because they're shy. Now in front on the right I see some orange, dirty orange antelope. There's a messy lechway. They're not from the forest. Where are the forest animals? I don't know. They're in there. But they're hiding from us. They are not. They're going to hide from the heat. That's why animals rest during the day and then they wake up at sunset to stretch. And then you know what? Maybe it's time to survive. It's a night. On the right, big green bushes, laurel sumac, native to Southern California, to this coastal sea habitat. Okay, and on the left, down below you, Patterson, Zealand, look at the big tan animals, look at them swishing their tails. Those swishing tails help them to keep track of each other. I mean, it's not as if they can call out to each other, Marco. Oh no, no. <laughs> Stay quiet, don't attract attention. Well, we've had 570 scimitar horned orcas born here in 46 years. 